uh, uh, it's a force that works according to my efforts. Tell me, by what does a child grow? There is a force hidden in nature that invites in him all kinds of efforts, and he runs and he does, and he doesn't know why. Rather, nature simply activates him in this way. It's like uh, you pull a spring in uh, some toy, and it just jumps, you know, some little rabbit or something. This is what the child is like. And then, according to this invitation that comes to him from the upper light, and when he jumps like that, just like that little rabbit, the upper light influences him, but he has to show himself, even though it's not really him. Rather, the light is working from both sides, from the side of the deficiency and also from the side of the fulfillment. And this is how we grow. For us, there is another ingredient, another component called free choice. They leave for us the possibility to participate freely in the group, in the ten, to the extent that I nevertheless pressure, and it can come after a thousand times when I refuse, I don't want it, I don't understand it, in the very last moment I run away, but sometime I nevertheless, uh, with my effort, I come in, I push in. By that, I invite, I invite the influence of the upper light. If, if I don't invite it, it would still work. It would nevertheless invite from us such actions as in the whole of uh, humanity. But these actions are already considered to be beito in its time and not with Achishena hastening on our side, with our participation. Because with our participation, as he writes, it has come to us through the reception of the Torah, we receive development that is uh, beyond, he, he writes that in uh, Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah, a very rapid development. Okay.